some school district officials in the Valley and residents are reacting to the lawsuit tonight. We asked how this could affect Valley schools and how parents feel about the state's decision to fight the federal mandate. CBS 4's Nora Salinas has more. This lawsuit is not only creating an uproar in the community, but also it's creating a big concern here in the Valley. The battle on whether or not transgender students should be allowed to use the bathroom for the sex they identify with is far from over. The lawsuits are challenging that, saying they need to protect the children, uh, but it comes down to a basis of equality. Do, does a person have the right to be feel safe or feel secure in their bathroom in the locker room? Attorney and Edinburgh School Board member Sunny Palacios weighs in on the lawsuit, saying this could affect more than just the transgender community. If states refuse to follow federal guidelines, they could potentially lose millions in federal funding for public schools. We would lose a lot of programs, a lot of programs, a lot of K programs, special ed funding, equality funding, the health and human services, the, the whole school-based clinic that we did, that we made, universal health care funding. It, it, it could have a deep impact in the, into the system. It's something some Valley residents say they do not agree with. People will just see it as, oh, we can't allow this to happen because our child, something's going to happen to them. But everybody's going to end up suffering because if funds get cut off, all other programs get affected. Others say there should be a compromise. Maybe they even need a separate bathroom. You know, now they have bathrooms for children. They have bathrooms for families where the mothers can change them. And so, may, you know, in Europe, they have bathrooms for just one sex. So it may be a change in the in the bathroom facilities. Most Valley school districts are not publicly commenting on the subject, but say they will continue to follow federal guidelines. Palacio says he believes all students should be protected. Sexual orientation is a protected class. The lawsuit was filed today in the Northern District Court of the United States, but it could take years before a judge makes a ruling on this case. In the studio, Nora Salinas, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.